You ready to go? I'm ready. We're going to Voskopoya. Everyone we tell that we're going here say it's absolutely amazing and beautiful, and it's only a 40 minute drive. That was a very quick and short travel day, <laughs> right? That was awesome. Perfect. <laughs> we made it to Bosch, Bosch, Copo, yeah. Welcome to our home for the next two days. This is Bed and Breakfast Buitina Liani. And you walk in and there's already beautiful details. I think Boscopoya is famous for handicrafting or crocheting. This might be that. I don't know. I don't really know what crocheting is. That's not actually. <laughs> Welcome to room number four. She warned me about my head. Yes. <laughs> this is our beautiful bedroom. A very, very neat bed. They make it like an American hotel bed, you know? Mm -hmm. Perfectly, perfectly done. The views of the mountain and the most adorable house in the Skopoya. <laughs> and last but not least, our little bathroom. And it's not fully a wet bath, so there's not gonna be water all over the place, which we've been getting used to here in Albania. It's a very beautiful, very homey. The owner is very nice too. And we'll show you the garden later. The garden's very pretty. There's like flowers everywhere. It's just that there's people there. It's kind of awkward. It is the next day, it's already 3 p.m. Our day actually started pretty early, but we'll fill you in with the details later in the video. Right now we are heading to the center of town because there we saw yesterday like this ATV, like four wheelers, whatever they're called, and it looks like a super fun tour, but we haven't seen anyone working in the office yet, so we asked our host and she called them. She said they would be here by 3 p.m. Ready to go? Yeah. We're heading into the mountains. This is my first time driving a four by four, whatever these things are called. How about that for an adrenaline rush? That was perfect. After like five days of just living the slow mountain town life, we needed to get the blood pumping and we <laughs> did. Just like ripping it across like the dirt mountain roads. A little bit sketchy at times with like the cliffs just like falling off and like dropping into an abyss. But we did it, we survived. So Oscopoya is famous for its beautiful churches and honestly we were not really that interested when we were looking for like things to do here. That's like the first thing that comes up and we were like trying to find other things but then this morning after breakfast our host said that she's like a culture guide and the churches are closed so you have to go in with someone with a key and she offered to take us so we were like okay let's go. We saw like four or five different churches and I'm not lying like these are some of the most beautiful churches we have ever seen. However, there's a problem. They are really protective of these churches. They don't want like other people to see them and you really have to go with someone that with a person that has the key 
So we couldn't take any photos or videos, but we're gonna tell you what we learned about them. So this behind us is one of the churches that we visited on the tour. And as you can see, it doesn't look like much from the outside, but when you go in, it is so beautiful. Like it's an Orthodox church, so the style is very different than what we're kind of familiar with. And you go in and there's just like colorful frescoes and imagery all over the walls. Like literally like every inch is covered by paintings and Christian images. And it's very, very stunning. And also some of the churches like on the outside wall, they also have some of these frescoes. So we do have some pictures that we can share with you. So as you can see, the church is totally dead bolted from the outside, like you can't even enter the ground. So it just felt super special to be able to enter and see a lot of things that even people that visit Voskopoya don't get a chance to see. Just like being a part of history, these things are over 300 years old and they were beautiful. So if you ever come to this area, go to our hotel. I forgot the name, so we're going to write it here. Ask for Angela and she'll give you a tour. It's 100% worth it. Yes. This place is awesome. Yes, you have to do it. Now let's show you my dream house. We're moving to Voskopoya, folks. Obviously, no, we are not moving to Boscopoya, but I do love the idea of renting a summer house here next year. I'm just throwing that out into the universe. If the house looks like the one behind me, I will not be upset about that. We're not going to bore you with like a million details of these churches and this town, but just know that it is extremely beautiful. It's very small and there's not much happening, but it's so worth to visit. And then we'll see you guys tomorrow. We have a short drive, I think, to a city called Lynn. And it's supposed to be beautiful. It's situated like next to a lake and we have a beautiful Airbnb or hotel, I'm not sure, but we'll show you tomorrow. We just made it to Lynn and this place is just like mind blowing. I don't even understand how Albania works. Like the drive here was incredible. Just we drove along the lake for at least like half an hour, 40 minutes. And then we get here and it's just spectacular. Another fairy tale. It makes no sense. And then our hotel, we'll show you a bit later, is also the cutest thing in the entire world. Very happy. Shkibri, what are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to our amazing guest house in Lynn. We're gonna show you our room very briefly, but it's beautiful. We have views of the lake, but the highlight is right here in the garden. We have all these loungers where we might relax and maybe work a little bit. Incredible details everywhere, something like flowers and fruit trees. It's very, very fresh. But as you can see, we're right on Lake Odin. Like this is the most beautiful view I've ever seen in my life. There's like mountains everywhere, like fresh water, clear water. There's like fish everywhere. Very beautiful. Albania is just, wow. It is just a mind-blowing country. Look never, at this place. Never ceases to amaze us. How's this for a happy hour spot? Perfect. And a platform for jumping. Are you ready? Yes. Look at this beautiful sunset. I cannot believe yeah, this is nice day one beautiful. in Lynn. It is so nice and quiet here. So we're trying to be like quiet, not to bother like other guests that are in our guest house. But we can't wait to explore more of the lake area tomorrow. We're gonna drive the car around, go to a nearby town and show you around this town, but it'll be fast because it's really small. But we'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna have dinner here and enjoy this beautiful sunset. Cheers. This is not what happens to you if you crash a U.S. wedding. No free beers. Albanians are the best people. Honestly, they really are. Today is the very last day of our road trip. We had different ideas of what to do for today. We thought about hopping back in the car and exploring the area, but we decided just to take it easy and just walk around Lynn and enjoy the beautiful nature. So right now we're going for a hike. We're getting a little bit lost in the back alleys. There's a lot of chickens and roosters, not a lot of people. I think if we go this way, we can head up into the mountain. Today we're going for a 
hike. And just like this. Look cute. <laughs> Look at this spot. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. This is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, the water is super clear. It's amazing how few boats are out here. Just like a couple of small fishing boats. But the fact for that, the entire lake is just boat free. We don't know why. Maybe because it's on like a border with Macedonia. But it just feels so like clean and you know, there's no noise. So this is basically the town, it's just like, this is like the main street, there's just one street, most of the houses are here, also there's a few like guest houses facing the water, there's like two restaurants, and that's it, there's nothing else, nothing to do here other than relax, so we're gonna head to the center of the village and have lunch, and then we're gonna spend the rest of the afternoon relaxing in our hotel, swimming, taking a nap, just chilling, that's what you do here in Lynn. over no <laughs> <laughs> this road trip was the best idea ever this guy planned everything putting pins on google maps <laughs> just finding <laughs> random spots <laughs> and he just through the weeds oh it's my like, god that's the one yeah. that's the one it's crazy and it just each city got better than the last thankfully right? yeah. Like, yeah i wasn't sure that we should even come to this place at all like this one lynn especially was like okay i don't even know if we should come there because there's nothing there and it's just like an absolute paradise it is heaven it is really beautiful i hope we did like some kind of justice to like all these places um at least for us personally it was a very nice little break yeah just exactly. to like have the freedom of our car exactly. explore albania it yeah, was just it was awesome. awesome and we let us know if you like this style of video too because it's the first time for us mm -hmm. we did like all of this in like seven well eight nights total and it's like a long video but let us know if you what you think if you like it and also we are gonna leave like a link in the description with a pdf that you can like leave your email and you'll get an email to, so you can download the PDF with like all of our stops and where we stay, the where to eat, where to do of the everything. Southeast Albania yeah. road trip. I cannot recommend this road trip enough. Tomorrow we drive back to Girocaster, uh -huh. and then return the car. Oh, we stay in Girocaster for one night to get drone shots for two videos ago. So you probably saw already. <laughs> then we go to the farm again because we were invited to stay there again for one night. Say goodbye to our Albanian family. Yes, exactly. And then we'll see you guys in, I keep saying Permet, but it's not Permet. Berat. Berat. We'll see you in Berat. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. And yeah. And like and subscribe. <laughs> this Peace. was awesome. This was, this was really good. I Albanian like road trips, too. huh? Mm -hmm. You have to do this. Dream vacation. Yeah. Thanks for watching.